It's never too late to make a career move. Just ask one woman from New Bern. She decided to retire from one job just to begin another. Now to your side's Caitlin Richards spoke to her and learned this new business not only holds importance to her, but the entire community. From working at the post office to working in clothes, this now local boutique owner just made a new life decision and could it be happier? That's so skinny right there. <laughs> Cynthia Swords worked for the U.S. Postal Mail Service for over 22 years. She was about to retire at the end of the year, but then her life changed. Uh, this is not expected. I was Everybody expected me to open a food truck because I love to cook. I did a lot of fundraising for schools, so everyone waiting for me to open a food truck. But then this, this opportunity, opportunity was offered to me unexpectedly. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I do appreciate your support. Bob Sisko, who was one of Cynthia's customers at the post office, was the husband to the owner of what was known as today's fashion in Newburn. When his wife passed away in October, Sisko asked Cynthia to buy the boutique to keep it around. While still working at the post office, she reopened the boutique within two weeks with a lot of help and named it Boutique Alum Mode, just in time for the holidays. It's not just the money, you know. It's just I'm not, I'm not here to make to be rich. I just something to you know, that's something to do and something to you know earn a little bit. I, I wanna I want to uh, cater to you know. I wanna give them the good price and good quality because it's hard sometimes, you know. Um, I just wanna be a blessing to everyone. Cynthia says this opportunity that came to her is really a miracle. She says she's not going anywhere anytime soon and is looking forward to a bright future ahead at this boutique. In New Bern, Caitlin Richards, 9 on your side.